Hey everyone, welcome back to more Fatal Frame 4. We just did the first chapter. We ended right at the end of the first chapter in the first episode, so that's cool. Nice pacing, I like it. It ended with, unfortunately, our friend Madoka not making it, but Misaki is still MIA, so she might still be around. So I think as Ruka, we're probably gonna continue our search, unless maybe we'll switch back to Misaki. Who knows? Let's find out. <laughs> so that's the entity that called her back. Well, I say entity, but it looks like a lady, obviously. So this is what happened when they were walking that hallway together. And then Misaki suddenly disappeared, leaving Madoka. Because that girl suddenly called her closer. camera on the floor so we are playing as misaki i was saying the intro and i was like wait maybe we'll play as misaki next <laughs> here we are <laughs> look at that beefy boy thick camera obscura who's a thick boy this is the camera i brought from home when did it fall down here Dr. Asso's note. This notebook talks about the camera. When did it get here? The prototype camera obscura as proof of our research is entrusted to descendants of the Asso family. This is the first successful copy of the camera obscura that I've thought of as a strong example of my work. The first solid step towards conclusive evidence of the theory of my predecessor and I. It hasn't been attempted, but my theory that images of the dead may be sealed inside the film is feasible. However, Shinto priests and shrine maidens are sensitive to spirits and has a strong effect on them. The prohibition of its use is expected. So that's why she brought the camera. She was transported to here. So where are we gonna go? Where's that sound coming from? Oh, I know where it's coming from. Right here. Ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Blue? Madoka's voice. It's a nurse call from room 203. I wonder if Madoka is in this room. Madoko? Madoka. Adjust numbers on the device. Well, we can't do that yet. Let's find all the items first. Oh, tons. Nice. I like some mids. Thank you. Crystals, nice. What's that? A book? Oh, a map. Occupants in Dogetsu Hall of his Aug uh, as of August 1970. So it's quite a while ago. Room 203, Haraizuki. Madoka. 
Madoka's room. So she was actually calling from her own room. Patient shows introverted behaviors and we believe another patient of her age is bullying her. Please keep an eye on her. Her next door neighbor was Iori Aiba. Previous to the death of Mrs. Hinuma, the patient was to be moved to Haibara Hospital proper. However, she confined herself in her room and refuses to leave. We were required to exercise force in moving the patient. Be prepared in case of future infractions. Then next to that is Yoriko. As there is no reaction when she looks in the mirror, she is not yet budding. However, her emotions and actions are very unstable due to the deterioration of her memories caused by the Luna Sedata syndrome. Please monitor her carefully. I think this is the first case, uh, the first file that we read about Luna Sedata, right? I think. So that's what in this translation is the syndrome is called. So they're all patients with a certain syndrome, what they call this, but also budding. So there's a certain stage to get to when they look and they start avoiding mirrors and reflections, or they're drawn to it. Kazuto. Patient has developed kleptomaniac tendencies. That's the kit where we got the mask from. Please make a report if you find anything. Reclaiming the stolen property will anger him unnecessarily. But if you ask him politely, he won't resist and will return the items. And then we have Ayako. Strongly aggressive personality. Her cruel pranks of 10 cause... of 10? Cause issues and injuries for the staff, including several knife lacerations to a nurse's ear. Please monitor each person carefully. That sounds like trouble. Someone's not playing nice. I wonder who the bully is. Evade. Oh, that's if we shake at the right time, right? Uh, let's see. Go into the menu. Equip. Oh, it's already on. By shaking the Wii remote at the right time, you can avoid a ghost attack. Yeah. No lenses. We could increase her stats, but I don't think we need to at this point. It's kind of the same deal as 3, Fatal Frame 3, where we kind of prioritize the main character's camera because they're the ones doing the big fights. And then for the other characters, it's like, yeah, it's not necessary, but you can do it. Second floor, nurse's log. The children keep playing pranks, opening and closing the door to the second floor ward. The door's release code is periodically changed, but it somehow keeps getting leaked. It seems that the password game, as they call it, is becoming popular with the children. In the game, the door's release code is written somewhere, a hint is given, and they make a game of searching for it. They were given a harsh scalding, and please note that the director has said to be more careful with the management office's door in the future. If the door is opened, I fear that the patient may wander away. To prevent an incident like that from happening again, if you see the code scribbled anywhere, please erase it. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I wonder how they... How the code leaks, though. Patient before ward door. Can I go through this door? Not yet. Okay, but we need to get to 203, which is behind that door. So... Does it say? Yeah, 203, there. Haraizuki. So this is where we want to go to. So... Huh. Okay. I'm just gonna see if anything happens if I go this way. There we are! Oh, I could not make that at all. <laughs> What's up, girls? Oh. Oh, I got those, though. Didn't expect them to actually stand there. But we've been in here. There's not really anything worth getting. Is there? Oh. 
Picture drawn by a child. Picture drawn in crayon. Looks like it was drawn by a child. Drawing of a clock. Oh. Wait, there's blue. Ah, nice. Cool. I know where the clock is. <laughs> I've played this before. <laughs> Trying to go... Oh, I hear the clock. There it is! Trying to go through it, spoiler free for you guys. <laughs> I know it, it looks kind of weird, but... It's better to, like... Vocalize... Where I'm going and why in this way, so it... Oh god! What? 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 Oh, I missed it. So it makes sense for the first time viewers. Note referred, notice referred patients, patient. Note to all employees, new patient Ayako, that's the naughty one, will be admitted to room 207 of the Rogetsu Hall this weekend. Ayako is being referred by Dr. Hayabara, therefore we want to exercise the utmost care to make her stay at our institution as pleasant as possible. Everybody please treat Ayako with the greatest consideration. Hmm. Special treatment, huh? Phases of the moon are on the face of the old-fashioned clock. Rather than numbers, there are strange gashes around the base. Feel a strong presence. Took a picture with the camera. The camera is said to have mystical powers. Eight three nine five. We know where we can use that. Eight, three, nine, five, eight, three, nine, five. This is like the most Japanese outfit I've ever seen in these games. Oh, Jesus! Holy shit! Was intended. Oh. No. Isn't that the other way? The way I'm turning it doesn't make sense, but I got there in the end. <laughs> so finicky. I did it. Misaki's doll. Wait, our doll? Hmm. Well, the door is open now, so... Ah, uh, I knew it! Hi! Okay. I'm gonna just take a picture and then I'll switch to 14. See if she get she attacks me. Whoa! Oh, that was a fatal frame, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> so scary. The ghosts in this one are the scariest one. I'm telling you, the way they move is just so fucking freaky, and they like lunge for you. So creepy. I hate it. Like, I find these scary, and we're like in the fucking first chapter of the game. Second now. But we're like, this is the tip of the iceberg. <sighs> There's some fucked up ghosts coming. I'm telling you. This game is scary as fuck. Oh, where did I hear that item? 
I heard an item up here. Oh. Oh, here. Female patient's note. When you see this, I will no longer be in this world. When my mother gave birth to me, she died in order to let me live, to protect me. My father and my brother died in an accident to protect me. What kept me alive after their deaths is the memory I have of them, and the terrible guilt I feel for still being alive. Similar theme to Fatal Frame 3. This illness is robbing me of even that. The family that only exists in my memory is being slowly killed off. I can't take it anymore, living while slowly losing the memories of those people who were dearest to me. Still, the most frightening thing is losing the guilt, I feel. I'm not afraid of killing my family once again. I will leave this world with what little memories I have left, as long as I am still me. Damn. Yeah, that must be awful. Like, you go by- Oh, you can see them. You go by the idea that they still live on in your memory, and then you lose your memories, so where do they go? Two people, talking. That voice, Madoka? Door's locked. Oh shit! I was gonna go in. Who's her neighbor across the street? Hi. Oh god, it's double trouble. Oh god. Oh! Jesus. Don't. Where's the other one? There was another one. I'm stuck. Oh. No. No! Oh. She came out of nowhere. Ah. Can't shake my arm too hard. Ah. No. 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 Go. 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 Get the fuck out of here. Oh god. <laughs> no! <laughs> Holy fuck. Fuck off. Ah! Oh god. I didn't have time. Oh, there she is. Oh. Ugh. That's what I'm telling you, I hate these ghosts. They like squat down before they come come at you. So fucking scary. Ugh. Okay. But I did it. <laughs> Even with these controls. Let's see. Hmm. I know what that is. The library. So many books. Let's go. Maybe that's where the key is, because that's where she was when we last played as her. That's where something happened. <laughs> that door. There's... Uh, I can't put my finger on it. There's something that this game does so well. I think it's like the slight, like... Background noises. Oh. She said, Shinjai. Which basically is like, just die. Die already. Uh, I think you guys can piece together. I think I'll just go over this one. You guys can probably piece together. 
who who we've read about so far who would say just die to me uh, yes. who's the meanest girl you can think of right now Sinjai <laughs> No, it's placed like the back of my hand. I, I genuinely wonder though how often I've played this game now. Like how often have I played... Oh, something fell. How often have I played Fatal Frame at this point? Oh, it was the mask. I fell off the wall. Makes you think though, because Misaki hasn't been here, Duka's been here. Hey, little doll. So how does Misaki know that this is where she needs to be? Well, I guess if you search long enough, you'll find it. Now, what else is blue here? There you go. There's more. Oh, thank you. Ugh, it's creepy corner. This is where she was. Wasn't it this mirror? Oh shit. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Ah. Oh god, I'm like in him. Oh, I can see his teeth. Holy shit, dude. Oh. Don't you dare. That's not even a shutter chance. Wait, did I get him? He just looked kind of like, oh, no, I didn't. He kind of like pieced out. Ah! Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> he really just said, strike a pose. <laughs> <laughs> he was just like, here I am. <laughs> oh, there we are. Ah, there it is. Nice. Uh, the key. La clé. You know, key is kind of a weird word in Dutch. Well, for Germans, like, they'll be like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Um, but because in English it's key and then French, I think, I might be completely remembering it wrong, but I think it's clé, right? Um, so that's kind of similar. Ooh, pressure lens. But in Dutch, it's sleutel, which is such a different word than key. Sleutel. And in German it's something like schlüssel, I think, if I remember correctly. Probably absolutely butchering the pronunciation, but let's put that pressure on that camera. Whoa! Woman standing before a mask. Oh, she looks special. Her face is fucked up. Standing before a mask. Oh. Black mask fragment, left eye. Piece of wood. Mask inquiry from Dr. Asa. On this island, there is a kagura during the lunar eclipse. One of the 
On the day of the lunar eclipse, the minds of the living lean towards death, and the souls of the dead come forth from the gate of the underworld. The moon symbolizes the soul on this island, and it is thought that the lunar eclipse eats away at the soul. In the literature I read, it mentioned a mask called the Mask of the Lunar Eclipse. That was once used in the festival of this island. There is some very old fragments of literature about the black mask that caused the disaster, the day without suffering, long ago. I tried asking the head of an influential island family about it, but he wouldn't tell me anything, and his facial expression was one of terrible fright. On this island, touching that mask is considered serious taboo. Even though it's risky to offend the islanders, I want to see it with my own eyes, to examine it myself. Perhaps it is a powerful clue which will lead to the other world. <laughs> Bookshelf filled with books. Mask resembling spirits, death mask folklore. They seem to be books about masks. Okay, I think I got everything here now. No one looking at me from there. Creepy camera angle. Well, I got the keys, so time to go. I accidentally put on really red lipstick today. I keep seeing it when I check the recording. I thought it was my lighter shade, but I think it's nice, but I meant to put on a really light one. <laughs> Fallen girl. <laughs> girl looking down. It's the same girl that said Shinjai. There's something there. I saw a vision of the past. The, the reason I accidentally put on the wrong lipstick is because the, like the, the lipstick itself, the case, is identical. So you can only tell by looking at the bottom. Looking at the sticker. Oh yeah, I completely forgot. I started talking about her outfit. Oh, she is an actual one. Oh, God. <laughs> Got you. Wait, is this the second one? Oh. Oh, I took three. Hey. I can make a series. Get fucked with seven film? Holy shit. It says Ayako on the nameplate. Hmm. Couldn't actually hear anything from it though. Anyway, the point I was making a whole ass time ago is this outfit. This is like legit something you would see Japanese women wear. Maybe not as much now. I haven't been up with the up to date with the fashion, honestly. But when I when I was studying in Japan, like oh god, ten years ago, Jesus, that was definitely outfits I remember seeing. They definitely like the the frilly, like see through kind of sleeves and stuff. It's very cute, very delicate. I always wanted to wear it, but I didn't think it would suit me. When I was younger, I mean. Now I'm much more comfortable wearing the shit I wear. I found my place. Woohoo! Madoka's room! We're in! Oh, oh, lots of drawings. Lots of drawings. Madoka's diary. Old diary, covered in dust. Lifting it leaves a clean spot on the table. August 9th, evening, bedtime, but if I can't sleep, I start to get scared. It's dark. I can see my face in the window. When I see my face in the window, it looks strange. My eyes are strange, my nose, my mouth. 
My head feels strange. I want to get rid of Ayako, but if I do, I feel like I'll lose something. That's why I hope I can sleep tonight. Mm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. thank you. I thought I heard another blue thingy, though. Many paintings are attached to the wall. Hard to tell with the faded paint, but it looks like it was drawn by a young girl. There is blue, but it might be on the other side of the wall, actually. Letter to Madoka. Dear Madoka, how are you? Have you decided on a name for the canary I gave you? I'm sorry for leaving you alone all the time, but I always, I'm always thinking about you. Take the crayons with you, okay? You like drawing pictures, so I'm sure it will make you happy. The doctor would also like it. He says that drawing pictures will help you get better. So please draw. I think that it's very frightening that you are forgetting so many things. But Madoka, you are from the Tsukimori family, so the moon will always protect you. That's why there is no need to worry. Do exactly as Dr. Haibara says and be a good girl for mother. I'll come check up on you again. Love, your mother. Measure. What's that to? Children's book so worn I can't recognize the contents. Oh, wrong one. This one? Oh, it's already on. Allows you to see a ghost's hit points. Oh, health! Nice. That'll help us. Ugh. It's so creepy, the hair. What was that? Can you do it again? No. Mother got sitting on bed. Do you think she's actually there? She's moving. Second floor nurse's log. Today's report about Ayako from Ayako from room 207. Around 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I heard Madoka crying and hurried over to her. Her pet canary had had his head cut off with scissors. Ayako stood there holding the bloodied scissors. It was obvious what she had done. She just kept laughing despite our scolding. It was as though she had no second thoughts about it. Her mischief is going too far, and it's not just the in inability of distinct. To distinguish right from wrong, beginning with Madoka, I'm beginning to worry that the influence Ayako is having on the other children isn't good. Even with the director involved, I haven't been able to devise an effective treatment for her. Whoa. Is that a drawing of Ayako? Kinda looks like her. Some crystals. Oh, there's some big pictures here. Oh, the lighthouse. How have I never looked at this before? What the fuck? Or oh, I forgot again. There's four kids. And something. Oh, yeah, this little doll. Look how sneaky. In the clock. Okay, um, let's see. Whoa. That's like shit is coming out of the eyes. Cool. Wasn't there also like a doll under the bed or something? No, I can't see. 
do you think there's a second doll here somewhere? Oh yeah, that's definitely the girl from the poster with the ribbons. Hello, Ayako. Little shit. How'd you cut off a canary's head with scissors? Bitches be crazy. What is that? Oh, it's a bear without a head. Huh. Gee, I wonder who did that. Going over her? Over to her? <laughs> oh. oh, I moved just a tiny bit. Damn it. Could have had it. Alarm. Oh, that's it, isn't it? That's the one I want. Please let it be. Let it be. Uh, this one? It will blink to show the ghost fatal frame moment. Yes. Okay. Now we can see the exact moment before they attack that we need to take the picture for most damage. Now we're in business. So let's fuck up some kids. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've always- I think this is like one of my favorite parts in the- the whole building. So yeah, Ayako is not doing very well. Ayako, man. Get off of me. I need to heal. She's been taking a beating. <laughs> I only have one? That's the only healing I have? Oh, shit. Uh, maybe I should actually just fuck her up. Go for 61. Ah! There! That's the fatal frame moment. Yes! Oh, I fucked you up! Yes! Fucking Ayako. Nobody likes you. Oh, hey! Oh, this is Misaki's room. Isn't it? her with her friend. Ch chapter 2 and 3 are pretty short, so I actually have I actually have a list of all the chapters and how long they were last time I beat this game. So I kind of know how to pace it for like good episode lengths. So, let's do another chapter. 
Ooh. Are we playing as who I think we're playing as? Best character in the game? No, he's my favorite. He's so cool. Yeah, what's his name? Kirishima, I think. Lying on the floor, just taking a little nap. No big deal. Hi, Bada. Hi, Bada. Hi, Bada. Hi, Bada. Hospital. It says it above the door there. My notebook. How did it get here? Yeah, Kirishima. Missing girls found safely. La late last night, five girls who went missing two weeks ago were found and taken into protective custody. The girls were identified as followed. Misaki Aso. Ho ho ho! Marie Shinomiya. Uh, Madoka Tsukimori. Tomoe Nanamura. And Ruka Yomotsuki. The inc incident occurred on the same day as the Dogetsu Kagura dance in a series of mysterious incidents. The, girl disappear the girls' disappearances had attracted some attention. They were placed in protective custody yesterday at around 11 p.m. in Amakore Bay Police Station. Officer Choshiro Kirishima, that's us, found the five girls on the premises of Haibara Hospital, and their identities were confirmed. The police are pursuing personnel at Haibara Hospital as material witnesses in the kidnapping of the group of girls. Handbook. Hmm. I don't think I've ever looked at his handbook. Tape recording. I want to tape. The incident. Chapter 3 Choshiro Kirishima. The Forgotten Day. あの時神隠しにあったルカたちをこの病院の地下で見つけたそれで全てが終わったと思っていただがあの時の5人のうち2人が死んだ事件は終わっていないのか。3 now actually. But he doesn't know about Madoka. Handbook, kidnapping case summary. Summary. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Where do you check that? Notebook. How have I never looked at this? This is like... Oh my god, this is like Fatal Frame 3's notebook. Doctor. Director of the Tokyo Clinic. Age 27. Yo, Haibara. And then there's Shigeto Haibara. Age 53, his father. Doctor, director of Haibara Hospital. Wait, it says one of three. Oh! Administrator, Haibara Hospital. Oh my god, they translated this whole notebook. Could he be hiding a crime? Kidnapped girls found in Haibara Hospital's basement. No sign of this his participation. Huh. One of the workers who expanded the basement confessed to kidnapping in his last will. His suicide was too convenient. How did I never look into this? Holy shit. Luca. Previously hospitalized. She's 17? She looks so much older. When missing on the evening of the Rogatsu Kagura dance, later found in the basement, was extremely confused. Memory loss was present, though not severe. Took time for her to recover. She came to the island alone following a friend. Sayaka requested a search and later care for her daughter. So, Duka's mother is Sayaka. Sayaka, there she is. Client requested that her daughter, Duka, is found and protected. Her condition is stable, but it's unknown if it will change. I know her from the kidnapping case ten years ago. That request was the start of my search for Duka. I'm still searching. Kidnapping case. 
The night of the Dogets Kagura dance, five girls went missing. The lunar eclipse hall has already been closed when the girls disappeared. Had already been closed, okay. Not the first to disappear on the night of the Kagura, the people on the island feared that they had not been kidnapped but were taken to the moon. Girls were later found in underneath the Haibra hospital. Anonymous phone call began the investigation. Thanks! Dogets Island, traditionally secluded island. Dogets Hall was then built as a sanatorium. Dogets Kagura was later opened to the public and tourists, and its existence was acknowledged in Japan at large. Haibara Hospital. Yo Haibara's father, Shigeto, managed the, managed the only hospital specialized in the treatment of the Luna Sedata syndrome. Specific to Dogets Island, the syndrome, memory loss, nighttime walking, dementia, hallucinations. Luna Sedata was formerly known as moonwalking, as affected people seek out the moon. Moonlight calms their behavior but can cause suicides. If left untreated, severe dementia, cardiac arrest, suicide. There are no, there's no known cure and treatment are experimental at best. So we can check out this notebook every now and then. Wait, that's not it. It's this one, right? Tape recording of doctor's questions to the Luna. Oh yeah, we listened to that one. ロゲット本部は動かない。東京でのfrom before the dog gets Kagura. So it's before the kidnapping and everything. Okay, I think it's time to go in. <laughs> so no camera for Kirishima, but we have this. Spirit Stone Flashlight. Soothe spirits using the light radiated by spirit stones. Press the B button to ready the flashlight. When the flashlight is in its ready state, press the A button. Okay. Okay. So it's the same as the camera. Oh yeah, hold it to charge, right? So you're released to take the picture. There's multiple ones, I know it. There! Get the fuck away from me! <laughs> I knew it! Gotta keep moving. Nice. Nice. Boom, 
baby. Nice. So yeah, his fucking... It's like a handgun. <laughs> it's like bringing a handgun to Fatal Frame. <laughs> He's just blasting ghosts left and right. Is this what Sayaka mentioned? Was that Bloomy? What has happened to the people of this island? Even Haibara is here. Is he somehow responsible for all this? The ghost left something behind. Power up. Develop. Oh, right. Yeah. Switch. So now I can... Uh, I can take pictures as a lens. Take non-damaging photographs. Because sometimes I need to... I don't know if I can show you. There was a doll outside. Can I leave? No. Maybe later. Um, also, the thing on the bottom right that you're seeing, the little moon icon, that's uh, that's a flashlight recharging. So if it's out of energy, I can't take pictures for a moment. Notes on wandering. Regarding Luna Sedata syndrome patients, please take note on the nighttime wandering habit of patients. Contact me today to confirm the suspected patterns so that we have reliable information. On the night of the full moon, close and bar the doors. I also request the strengthening of patrol around the wards. Thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say, shouldn't you just like lock the doors and shit? Lock them in their rooms at night? Just for their safety. Should I save? Nah, I just saved. Okay, where are we gonna go? He's remembering when he found the girls. Oh! That was it? Wait, what? He's so quick on the stairs. Look at him fly. Plus, very satisfying that he takes every step of the stairs. That's the... God, what is it called? Inspection? Not inspection. What, what do you call it when you inspect a patient? Is there something on the floor there? What is that? That. The doorknob? Ah, oh, the doorknob fa fell off. Holy shit. Oh, I thought it was locked. Whew. Asagi Hizuki, medical chart, age six, so young. From the typical behavior of being frightened of mirrors and the reported symptoms of memory impairment, she has diagnosis, the, the diagnosis is Luna Sedata syndrome. The degree of the condition is severe. Under the instructions of Director Haibara, there are plans to perform a sur surgical procedure next week. Surgery for Luna Sedata syndrome has been performed twice on other severe patients, but no conclusion has been reached as to its effectiveness. As an early treatment method of the Luna Sedata syndrome, the surgery will be performed regardless, and the details will be, will be recorded in a report at a later date. Please ensure confidentiality of the above information for the sake of the patient and her family. Wait, what is there to examine? Medical charts and other documents. 
Someone's x-ray is pasted on the x-ray equipment. Oh yeah, it's a face. Hmm. Oh, saw myself in the mirror. Nice. There's more. There's blue here somewhere. Yeah. Assistance note. My achievements studying cranial nerves were finally recognized and I was appointed assistant to Dr. Haibara at Haibara Hospital on Rogetsa Island. Dr. Haibara is the leading researcher on Luna Sedata syndrome, which is a memory loss condition particular to this island. As far as I can learn from the available materials, the Luna Sedata syndrome is a mental disorder consisting of memory defects and other symptoms such as sleepwalking. But many things about it are still shrouded in mystery. Why is it limited only to this island? What causes it? These questions are still to be discovered. Dr. Haibara, Haibara's approach to Luna Sedata syndrome is unique and many of his treatments are unprecedented. Among his original methods is a music therapy that makes use of a so-called lunar melody, which, is, which I feel will cause a stir in the world of psychoanalysis. What's truly really fascinating is how the research does not only lead to a method of treating mental illness, but also advances the theory that memories can influence the soul. To work under Dr. Haibara is surely a valuable experience that I never could have had on the mainland. Oh, our handbook got updated. Old notes and files line the shelves. So, files? No. Records? Notebook. People. Shoji Katagiri. 29. Doctor. Migrated from Honshu. That's the main island. Japan consists of four islands. The country itself. Honshu is, you know, it's kind of like shaped like a banana. Honshu is like the main part of the banana, the biggest one. And then Hokkaido is up north. Then you have Shikoku, which is kind of like the belly of the banana in the middle. Um, and then there is Kyushu all the way west. So Honshu, he's just like Tokyo or Osaka. He's just from the main island. Worked on Luna Sedata, include, including surgery treatment. Oh, this is so refreshing. I don't think I've ever really looked at this notebook properly, so I'm like... I'm getting so many, like, uh, so much extra information, like confirmation on the lore and stuff. This is gonna be great. Oh, this is an intense room to load. Look at that flat door. Hello, door. Oh. Oh, I don't... Oh, I did do it. Yes. I was gonna say I don't have the lens secret, but I did. Got some crystals. Okay, there's definitely items around here. Oh, that's blocked off. Number and names of people are entered here. Probably the names of patients and hospitalized hospitalized in this room. Oh uh, yeah. Is that a creepy Yeah, it's a creepy wheelchair at the end there. Picture diary. The day before yesterday, they did the surgery. There was a person who got worse after they had the, the surgery done. So at first I refused, but the doctor said it's okay. Since the operation, my brain has turned red. It hurts so much. I couldn't stand it. Afterwards, my hair was gone. Blood flows along with the tears. But the doctor and even mother tells me, it's okay. My head is now red and it seems to be melting. It's okay if it melts. I didn't get him. <laughs> Not at all. So he's saying like it's all for getting a cure. They're kind of like permitting themselves to do anything as long as they progress their research. I think it 
turns purple if you... There. If you can take a picture. That's a normal face to hang on the wall. Hey, dude. Oh, that counted. This is a smoking area, but there's no ventilation. Where is the smoke gonna go? Flat iron key. Sticker that says surgery prep room is on the back of the key. Oh, and I got a map. Where does the key go to? Oh, okay. Yeah, got it. Surgery prep room. It appears to be the key to the first floor. Now let's hope I can just make it out. Nope, that way. Curtains are notoriously broken <laughs> in this one. They never really fixed it. So you can kind of get stuck in them. Oh shit. Go, turn, and take a picture. Yeah, <laughs> don't you dare. Nice. I love how fast this flashlight is. It's just boom, boom, boom. Dit, dit, dit. Definitely more action oriented way of going through this game. Oh. Wow, I got him. Man standing by window. Dude, you're still there. Go away. <laughs> okay. Jesus. I think there was a- Yeah! Hands! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Haha, <laughs> man reflected in the mirror. I remembered. Little hands on the mirror. Okay, now let's leave this creepy place. Uh, before I go back down, though, let me check here. Just curious. I think there's an item? Yeah. <laughs> oh! I let go of the button, but I went for it anyway. Fuck! I, for some reason, I just knew it was gonna happen. We haven't even had an explanation on those hands, have we? Because I was thinking, I kept thinking, like... I haven't had a bad hand yet, trying to pick up an item. But there it is. I- it was probably just a, a crystal or something anyway. Luckily they don't- the ghost hand doesn't appear when it's an item or something. Or uh, when it's a, a document, I mean. It will always just let you pick up the document. Nice, that was so quick. He said, prepare to surgery. Safe. <sighs> I knew that fucked it up. Oh, there it is. I'm coming, I'm coming. Aha! Progress. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Blinking light. Creepy. 
Wait, there's something here. Oh. Nice. I guess I'll start with that. There's water in this sink. Huh. Something like red oil has floated up to the water surface and formed a film. Ugh. Weird. I remember something with these. Yeah. <laughs> So scary. Oh, and this. Darkness closes in on case of mysterious disappearances. It has been half a year since the islanders of Rodoget's Island simply disappeared. The case is closed and falling into oblivion, but when we ourselves went out to investigate, a history of darkness emerged that could be the key to solving this mystery. We first turned our attention to a strange illness called Luna Sedata Syndrome that exists only in this island. Talking to a medical specialist, we learned that it is a kind of memory loss characterized by symptoms such as sleepwalking and dancing as if possessed. According to folklorists familiar with the island's history, the syndrome has been feared on the island as a contagious disease since ancient times. Furthermore, there is a long tradition of large numbers of islanders vanishing. What if, for whatever reason, the syndrome were to spread among a large group? The island is fully surrounded by the sea. It is not difficult to imagine what would happen to a person wandering around robbed of his senses. A bizarre festival, the Dogetsa Kagura, is performed on the island to soothe the ghosts of the dead. At the time of the incident, concerns were voiced about efforts to draw in tourists for the Kagura. The last known survivor, a young girl, took her last breath at the hospital some days ago. What did the girl who kept muttering mother on her deathbed see? Only Dogetsa Island knows the answer. Now the answer will remain shrouded in mystery. So cool! Oh, we have a handbook entry. Uh, records, notebook. Two years after the Rogets Kagura dance, many islanders died of suspected epidemic. The remaining islanders went missing. Hmm. Two years after it. Huh. Okay. Uh, uh. Operating doctors. Did I get both? I hope so. God, what a fucking creepy ass room, dude. There's something blue. Okay, it's just this. But there she is! Sorry, girl. Poor little girl. I'm sorry. She must be so confused, being six year old and then getting brain surgery, botched brain surgery. I said no, but he doesn't listen. It hurts. The doctor will do surgery again tomorrow. I don't want surgery. Stupid surgery. More surgery tomorrow. I hate it. It hurts. It hurts. Surgery hurts. Hurts so much fun. It hurts. The fun much hurts. Surgery is fun, hurts, surgery, fun, fun, hurts, hate, fun, hurts. This poor girl. 
death certificate. Age six, past midnight. Circumstances of death. Symptoms rapidly deteriorated during the second post-op surgery for the Luna Sedata syndrome treatment. At midnight, she suddenly entered a state of confusion. The doctors provided first aid with sedation, but it proved ineffectual. She died shortly after. Cause of death unknown, thought to be from rapid worsening of the illness, accompanied by a general physical frailty. He said, all for the cure. He'll do anything for the cure. He was getting so desperate, just trying different things and operating on them. Oh, I didn't have the picture equipped, but it worked. I think there's a thing here. Yeah. Some kind of decorated leaflet. Every 10 years on Dogetsu Island, in October, a ritual called the Dogetsu Kagura Dance is performed. Its exact origin is unknown, but the festival has been passed down by the people of Dogets Island, expressing interaction with the dead, a tradition with the intention of remembering the deceased. The masked vessel, who is the central dancer, and the five shrine maiden girls called Kanades, the instrumentalists, play music through the whole night of fantastic Kagura dancing. Each member of the audience observing the Kagura dance wears a mask and holds a candle in their hand. For a long time, the festival was shrouded in a veil of secrecy, but, as of 30 years ago, it has been open to visitors and tourists. This festival that occurs once every decade is, a very, is very important to the islanders, and it is said that any islander that has gone far away from the island will always return on the day of the Kakura. Hmm. <laughs> Mm-hmm, that's today. What a coincidence. A coinky dink. At Haibara Hospital, I have the chance to actually observe patients with Luna Sedata syndrome. This is my first time seeing patients at the dis of the disease face to face. There is something very unsettling about this disease, but I can't quite tell what it is. With, Lu with Luna Sedata syndrome, a patient's memory and self-awareness deteriorate in such a manner that their whole personality breaks down. Ultimately, all of the patient's memories are forgotten. They become unable to do anything and die. Before that stage of the disease, most patients choose some other, more natural form of death. The patient is gradually broken, like being drunk, on this terrible disease, and you can see their body tremble. Even Dr. Haibara himself, who thinks that the Luna Sedata syndrome endemic is a unique disease, cannot quite grasp a decisive treatment. The doctor's treatments focus on surgery and folk remedies, confronting the disease with many different cures. Tomorrow I plan on researching some these treatments in more detail. Oh, a key! Ah, we're going to the other side now of the lobby. Cool. Okay. Anything else in this room? The fuck was that? Something fall? <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god, dude. Fucking scared me. Kijogutsi. Emergency exit. But it's locked. Not much of an emergency exit then if it's locked. Broken shelves are littered with containers and chemicals. Nothing else here, dudes? No? Okay. Then I will go back to the lobby.
出たのか<笑>ありがとう。As soon as she shows up, I'm just like, BAM! <laughs> In your face! Let me recharge a little bit. Blinded me. Oh. Gotcha. Oh, dude. He left something behind. Kidnapping case prosecution material. I am an official at Haibana Hospital. This is my deposition about the kidnapping incident that occurred some days ago. From the well outside of the hospital, we've seen that well, I heard an echo of a child's voice. At first I thought I was hearing things or imagining it. Then I began to hear the voice more and more clearly. A tearful voice and a different, hollow, moaning voice. It's those children, the children that were kidnapped. I can't stand this anymore. Hurry before it's too late. Even as I write this, those children are being destroyed. Please investigate the hospital as soon as possible. Thank you. Midanoka. <laughs> that doctor. He basically pops up being like, did you see? <laughs> what did you see? I saw nothing, dude. There's still nothing there, is there? Maybe later. Okay. Oh god. Go, 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 run. Oh shit, they're behind me. Oh, they're in front of me. Go, 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 go! Okay, where is she? I'm coming for you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I knew you were there. Ah, you're so creepy. Fuck off. Oh. Did I get them? That was intense. I hate that they can just randomly show up on either side of you. <sighs> and then it's like, I just don't know how to position myself. There he is! Sneaky little bugger. He can't use the elevator. 
old elevator. Hmm. Oh, phone call. Oh my god, they're all here. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, go for it. I'll wait for the attack to really like stun them. Fuck off. Where'd the lady go? Did I kill her? Oh! Oh my god, I got him! Maybe? Examination room? That's what that's called! Examination room! It's <laughs> the word I couldn't think of earlier. <laughs> Various bottle of medicine and syringes. Ooh! Takashi Aiba interview. Picked up a document. In minor cases of lunar sedata, luna sedata, fragmentary memory loss and behavior similar to sleepwalking can be observed. Characteristically, the symptoms vary with the wa waxing and waning of the moon. When the moon is full, the patient's condition is stable, but there is a tendency to go outside and seek the moonlight. Around the new moon, the patient becomes more unstable and increasingly frightened. Once, Luna Sedanta was called moonwalking or haunted walking, which seems to be derived from that behavior. In severe cases, the patient loses almost all memory, but remains attracted to the moonlight and seeks out window sills and rooftops. Then the patient bathes in the moonlight. More lucid patients describe the feeling as momentarily regaining something they've lost. A person who has lost their memory will always look up to the moon. Such an odd symptom can surely happen in psychologically disturbed individual, but there is no explanation why a group of people would display the same symptoms. Since this is a peculiarity of Rogetsu Island's cultural sphere, there must be a relationship to its belief and customs. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, hey there, little friend. Else we got. Nothing there. Can I go to the front desk? I certainly can. Nurse placing key. A key? For me? Waning moon card. Nice. Many medicine arranged on the shelves. I want that one. <gasps> Sacred water! Yay! Nice! That's medicine.
Anything else here? Many files arranged on the shelves. Records of patients submitted to the hospital. Looks like that's it. We got a key. Very good. Maonoru? Maonorun? On the poster it said something. Hmm. I don't know. Sorry, fixing my hair. Back to business. Oh, I didn't get him. He was further to the left. Fuck. Oh. Yes. Oh. I'm coming. Assistant note again. Daily treatment of Luna Sonata syndrome continues. While we are making progress with Dr. Haibara's treatment, the methods are so different from the accepted medical standard that I feel quite confused. Dr. Haibara tends to his own unique methods, as well as honoring this island's customs and using traditional treatment methods. This is especially true for treatments with their own special utensils, some of which would be unthinkable in other hospitals. What leaves me in even greater discomfort is the language used in this hospital when which bears no resemblance to proper medical terminology. Patients in a progressed state show fear of mirrors, water, or other items that are able to reflect their faces. Judging from their behavior, there must be moments when the patient feels that it's not his or her face that is reflected in the mirror. On the island, this is called budding, and this word is used in the hospital as a regular term. Furthermore, a state called blooming is feared the most. I don't know what kind of state this is, but everyone reacts strongly and pales at the word blooming. Apparently, the story goes that only the person who is budding can see their own face in this budding state. Of course, the sense of the word is not just to have budded. Upon seeing the face of another more severe patient, the symptoms seem to be transferred, which is called resonance. But surely this can't be so extreme. It is difficult to imagine, but there might be a contagious form of Luna Sedata syndrome. And now, starting from tomorrow, Dr. Haibara is letting me do more, letting me do the preparations. I wonder what the so-called ceremony of passage treatment method is like. What am I supposed to do? All of this leaves me quite concerned. Yeah, that does not sound like anything you were trained to do. There was something leave it on my desk. The lamp in the director director's office is turned on. Somebody here. Oh, he's back! I'm ready. Where is he? Don't you dare use that light on me. He used the light on me. Oh, don't you dare, dude. I saw him getting ready to lunge. Oh, that face scared me. <laughs> I thought he was right there. We're in the face. See a little dolly. 
って<laughs> Noice. Not that it matters. We're not gonna get all of them, but it's still fun to do, you know? There's a box with clouded moons carved on it. Seems to have some mechanism and won't open. Pattern shows a waxing moon and a waning moon. Two grooved slots in the side. Okay, we took it though. That's good. I think that's it. Director crossing before door. Hey, dude. Where are you going? Hmm. The glass doors are open. Seems to be cool air flowing from behind the cabinet. You want to close it? Cool air, huh? I've always loved this ornamental carving here. So cool. I, w I really want it. It's like a wood carving, but it like represents the clouds around a full moon. So cool. So pretty. Oh, I see you. I wonder how many I'll get. Probably like 50 of 100. Probably something like that. I do remember some sneaky ones, but definitely not all of them. Okay. And now. Anything here? No, just this? Hi, Baras Notes. My family has been protecting and continuing the ritual, acting as head priests. At the same time, they have fought against the Lunacidata Syndrome as spiritual healers. As for me, I protect the teachings of the Haibara family and have built a hospital to treat patients with the Lunacidata Syndrome, researching it from a medical perspective. I believe it is my mission to research the Lunacidata using a combination of traditional and medical methods. The inhabitants of this island once tackled investigations into the human soul with their own original methods. One of these methods was the Kagura mask. In the Kagura dance, the Utsuwa, which means vessel, wears a mask, listens intently to the music, and loses herself within it. The Kanade's mask regulates the rhythm and beat of the dance. By wearing the masks, various parts of the human brain are stimulated. This is truly interesting. The possibility of the mask having power over the brain must be explored. The door to that has yet untouched area is now open. This was once the ultimate end to the Rogetsu Kagura dance. No, it was likely the ceremony of passage's true form. The ceremony is a potent way to end the mind's abyss, enter the mind's abyss. But because it caused a disaster, the ceremony has been stopped for a long time and become taboo. Had that terrible tradition of disaster, however, in order to overcome this illness, we must venture, oh, this, that terrible tradition of disaster. However, in order to overcome this illness, we must venture into the taboo. The lunar eclipse occurs once every 10 years. This opportunity to perform it again must not escape. We have no time. Intercom is on top of the desk. There's a row of numbers on the panel. Okay. We're getting quite some... Oh, wait. There's some blue here. Quite some handbook. Uh, updates, so I'll check that. Nice. Okay. Let's check. 
Notebook, actually. People. Sigato. Research. LS research. Ah. Variety of treatment methods, psychological surgery, music, were masks used? Question mark. Shoji was the assistant. Traditional therapy failed, alternate, alternate method ex attempted, special instruments, music therapy, neurosurgery. Are blooming, budding stages of the syndrome, ceremony of passage. And then we have Asagi, the six year old girl. Nuna Sedata patient at the hospital. Symptoms rapidly worsened, died after the operation. Yo Haibara was involved in a similar incident. The Rogets Kagura. Once every 10 years on Rogets Island, an ancient ceremony is conducted by shrine maidens who wear masks. Kanade perform their music and the Utsuwa dances the Kagura dance. This has recently become a tourist attraction. Islanders invariably return on the day of the Kagura. The Vessel. Dancer in the Kagura wears a special mask, dances on stage. Moonlight, a key role, central figure. And then the instrumentalist plays music, five kanade per ceremony. Vocal, flute, string, drum, and kai chime aspects. Young girls who are about 10 years old. Ceremony. Ceremony of passage. Yogetsu Kagura dance was once called by a different name. The name of the old Kagura is Ceremony of Passage. Oh. Oh, okay. So it was Ceremony of Passage and then became the Yogetsu Kagura dance. Well, that was this room for now. I really like this lipstick. It stains really nicely. Like, no matter how much I put my lips together, like I always do. What's that sound? Weird. So that ends for now. Then where will we go? Well, seeing as everything was a dead end, I'm just going back for now. My brain is like, the gears are churning, being like, okay, how do I trigger the next thing again? <laughs> I just didn't walk close enough to the gate. Assistant behind the crate. Oh, the assistant! Huh. Wait, there's something... blue now here. Oh, there. Ooh, god! Oh, okay. For that box. Ah, right. Series of digits and what seems to be a fragment of Tanka poetry written on it. Filing cabinet. The magic of the full moon, the sides of a square. Oh, what was it again? Four and nine is 13. I think it has to be two. Uh, two, seven. Six eight and five is thirteen so then two. Okay, so the the thing the way I solved this, I honestly don't really understand why it's like that anymore. But it's kinda like the way you add them all up, it should always be fifteen. 
So 4 and 9 is 13, plus 2 is 15. So the first one is 2. And then if you do diagonal, you can see 8 plus 5 is 13 as well. So that's also 2. Um, then 3 and 5 is 8, so that should be 7 to make 15. 8 and 1 is 9, so it should be 6 to make 15. And if you do a diagonal again, it's 4 and 5, which is 9, which again, plus 6 is 15. I think that's it. Um, I think that's the solution. And then 2, 7, 6, those three together is also 15. So that is the solution. Should be 15 all around. Oh, I just slit in front of that door, <laughs> my character. Can I do this now? Yeah, I can. Huh. Numbers lined up on the intercom panel. So, two, seven, six. That's it. Heard a sound like something moving. I heard a sound somewhere close by. This is so cool. Open it. <laughs> Another way down. Deep, deep down. Oh. oh. Secret treatment room. Oh god. Oh, I still hit him. Nice. Old sinister looking machine lies on the bed. Dr. Haibara, what was he doing here? Surgical treatment. Strange devices. What exactly were these nails for? Oh. Don't trust it. <laughs> Got it. Oh, look at this. So much blood on the table too, or on the bed. Ugh. So creepy. More research. <clears throat> Almost choked on my own spit. Currently, the most promising treatment method is surgery. It's a treatment that works by adding or removing direct stimuli to the brain. At first, because of its experimental nature, we had to overcome many difficulties. But since we started seeing results, it is nearing its establishment as an effective treatment method. However, a few days ago, just when we thought the surgery was successful, we had an unfortunate fatality. Having lost his memory and become an empty shell, the patient died, but then his face turned into a bizarre shape. I immediately dissected it, but it was clearly a sign of blooming. The actual cause of the failure is unknown. Research on surgical treatment must be continued, but blooming must be avoided. That disaster, it remains fresh in island folklore. The day without suffering cannot be repeated. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> God damn it! I should have known. Fuck. Now we'll never know. Uh, let me check the handbook again. Notebook. Why do I keep saying handbook? 
treatment. For special treatment, a neurosurgery variant was used. The procedure is highly experimental. Haivara tested on live humans. Various tests were undertaken. What was the purpose? Well, the purpose was curing Luna Sedata, but... Don't know if he actually managed, you know? Oh, even deeper! So deep underground. Ooh. Got some light going here. Where though? Like more in the middle. Like here? Where is it? Oh! Here! Don't trust it. Don't trust it. Ooh! Pierce power plans. The fuck? That was well hidden. Significantly increase the attack damage of a single shot. Nice. Thank you. Damn, yeah, son. Cool shrine up there. It's so awesome. Well, let's have a look. This really feels like we're just stumbling into some endgame shit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Cave, underground, shrine. There it is! He doesn't say he doesn't go further down. He's like, oh, so this is where the elevator is connected to. Just a little correction on my end. Oh, ho, ho. this is where it, where they were found. He and that was also a little bit off. He was like, "Oh, Ruka's not here. Where is Haibara? Because he went down the elevator, right? That's why he asked that." Yes, I would like to say that was the end of chapter three. So that will be the perfect spot to end this episode. And oh my god, it's so good! <laughs> I love it. I'm so into it. I'm also really excited about the handbook. Uh, notebook now. I'll, I'll definitely keep checking it so we can like kind of get little updates on everything as we're finding it. That should help us actually recap a little bit better. Um, but yeah, for now, that was episode two, so super fun. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like the flashlight action with Kirishima. He's my favorite character. He's one of my favorite, I think after Miku, he's my favorite Fatal Frame character. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'm super excited for you guys to see more of this story. And um, over the next couple weeks, we'll get through it. So I hope you guys are excited and I'll see you guys soon with part three.